Vegas, Nevada, DC, I knew you were not going to miss this. This thing opened late 2023. Too much fanfare. It is the largest spherical building in the world. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here he is, one of the best featherweights in the world, Ilya Topuria, ready to go for round one. He has been a methodical fighter every step of the way in the UFC. He talked to us about establishing his jab early, be opportunistic with my takedown attempts. He's going to have the upper hand in most skills against most featherweights in the division, so it's about fighting on instinct, being reactionary, and pursuing a finish to make sure that the promotion feels like he's the next guy in line to fight for the featherweight title. That dar choke is tight. Oh, somehow, some way, he got out. These guys are back and forth, and submission defense wins this transition. Big left hook coming. It's blocked. Oh, beautiful right hook counter. Oh, nice takedown defense. Now they separate. Slowly connection with the left from the champ. Oh, he heard a battle of the jab. So more output at least in the early game. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, that Von Flute choke is tight. Getting very close to finishing this Von Flute. He did a great job of beating the guard. Now he's side to side. He's got to drive shoulder pressure into his opponent if he wants to finish this fight. All right, so he's got the ground and pound game going here. Using a lot of good movement. Wear your hands. Ref won't help you here. Just as the referee will never take a guy out of bounds. They will not take a guy off of your back. You have to get him out of this position. Oh, good ground and pound here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Making all these shots count. That was a slick transition. Topodius has got full mount now. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. When he's throwing, he is landing so clean that his head is studding off the mat. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Topodia. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. Oh, oh, that's in, that's in. back to his chest being facing the mat. What a beautiful display of submission defense. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Ilya Topuria. He's doing a really good job of putting himself in position. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Attacking arm bar. What a tight arm bar. Oh, he gives up on the submission now. We'll see where he goes from here. He's got to be careful here. Oh, huge pop from the crowd as the fighters get back up to their feet. I mean, you and I love a good grappling match, but these fighters came to see knockouts. Yeah, the, the fans came to see them knock each other out. That's what they're going to get. All the grappling was beautiful to watch, John. But ultimately, it is the striking that people show up for. That one connected. Again, takes this fight right back to the ground one more time. This is exactly what he told us on Thursday. The game plan he's executing to perfection. And he's doing it exactly as he said he hoped it would go. He's getting to the legs, getting fantastic angles, and just wrestling beautifully. The takedowns are amazing, but it's the ground strike that he's landing once he's getting there that is truly a sight to behold. Seconds to go in this one. Right now, 
now it looks like he may be trying to set up an arm triangle choke. He needs to secure the left arm, push it across, and secure it with his head. He's up. What's the mission defense on this play? First round winding down here. All right, side control now. Great job landing from the top position. Horn set for the end of round one. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. You ready? You ready? Go All right, ahead. round two. So here we are as our next round gets underway. I would have tapped in that previous round, by the way. I would have tapped. It was so tight, I cannot believe that he got out of that submission attempt. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, roundhouse kick. Add that to his highlight reel. Well, one got through. That kick was blocked. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. Telconia's nose is bleeding now. Oh! oh, he's in real trouble now. Oh, a big left hand. Oh, nice level change. All right, right into side control, upper body. Oh, that's a choke. Oh, he's got that submission locked in. Tight submission locked in. Darce Choke seems to be very close to being finished. He cannot get the He's out. Trying to guard pass here. Not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Get the ball here. Look at that. Recognize he's about to lose position. Trying to pass the guard here, but a nice job by the bottom fighter defense. Bottom fighter did a fantastic job of following with his hips, making sure he blocked any attempt to get past his guard. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right in. Toponi has got his head looking for a guillotine. That guillotine is tight. That guillotine looks very painful, and he's very close to the finish, but he cannot rush. He cannot... Oh, how on God's green earth did he get out? All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Yeah, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Now drops inside that closed guard. Ooh, looks like another submission attempt now. That is tight. Oh, somehow he gets out. Fantastic submission beam. Well, sometimes our stat guys are stingy with these submission attempt numbers. There have been a lot of them here. Submission defense is held up every step of the way. Yeah, he's a great grappler. And he's really, really good defensively because he is so aware of all situations when he's on the ground. He has done an amazing job being on those submissions. You see him put himself into the half guard, like the control, yep. Now he's inside control. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, that looks wicked tight. Oh, now he's in trouble. Oh, he got out. How good is that? This guy is so aware. He never leaves anything long to allow for himself to get so. All right, so maybe he goes for another takedown here, and it's the setups, too, right? He's not blindly shooting from the outside. Maybe he'll get him down again. He's doing a fantastic job of setting up his takedown with his hands. He's forcing the hand up around to block his face, and then he's dropping his level, shooting his shots. And ultimately, because he's such a great submission guy, no matter how the fight gets to the floor, he just needs to get it there. Well, to the surprise of no one, again goes for the takedown, and it's there. One minute. 
to go in round two. Topuri is blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Both fighters throwing heat now. Oh, Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him, and this is with a thing. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all the strokes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer. Right now, he seems lost to him. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Good round. All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, let's check out some of the action DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loop punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop Ready his fight. opponent. Ready. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so next round underway here, and you gotta admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardio. Oh, huge right hand! He's in trouble. Kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time, I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, so we got a new UFC heavyweight champion and potentially a star is born tonight, DC. He is the type of guy that makes people want to tune in. He is the type of guy that you know excitement will happen when you watch him. And tonight he becomes a star in a massive draw for the UFC.